hi everybody welcome back in this laravel video tutorial we are going to learn how to use the blade template in the laravel so let's get started so most of the time you've seen that uh, guys are using a file extension like this so greeting.blade.php and the by default extension is also uh, welcome.blade.php why we use the blade.php the reason is that uh, when we are going to use the put your h uh, put your php tag inside the html time it's kind of hazard so it's not comfortable too much comfortable with that so sometimes we have to use the uh, start the tag end the tag and it's not look so good so so that uh, what laravel do laravel make a template engine which, which we call the blade template engine and in this side you don't need to put your uh, php tag you just have to use double curly brackets with that and you can easily use your php code inside that for example let's say uh, i have a php tag for now just for example uh, let's say the name is all right and you want to show this so uh, how you can so show this let's say it's that is coming from the uh, session or it's coming from the, the controller we will pass the data through the controller also but just for example and if you want to show this then you can normally use a dollar and name uh, inside the double curly brackets and you will see that you got this one and if you remove you don't have this so here you don't need to put the php tag you don't need to use echo and all these things so it's too much easy okay so now let's pass some data from controller to view and uh, show this after that we will pass the array from controller to uh, view and uh, handle it with the blade for each and we will use the if else condition with the blade and then we will use the layout template in the layouts in with the blade template and it's very amazing you will see that okay so let's get started with that so this is my uh, router here you can see that i'm calling the tutorial and show function the tutorial con uh, tutorial controller and here it is and, uh, and in this controller uh, i'm going to uh, i'm passing the greeting view and greeting views are here all right so now let's say i'm going to pass some data so for that i need an array so let's i'm passing the data through the info so here i can use the laravel blade temp all right i want to show here so what i can do for this i can use the php tag but it's we are going to learn the blade so that's i'm going to use dollar info inside the blade template and you can see that oh, we got here okay so it's very simple that how we can use the array with that so we can remove this one also okay so for that i'm going to take a dollar info array and just take some element inside it so for that uh, you can use uh, mm, money let's say take some items here and then we can use uh, gift let's say something greeting all right then pass this info inside the this array so just use the info all right then you will see an error here why because we cannot handle with simply this uh, we cannot handle handle the uh, array with simply double curly brackets so that we have to use the double curly uh, we have to use the for each so how we can use the for each that use the at the rate for each and inside that you can use dollar info as dollar item all right and after that uh, just uh, choose the end of for each okay and inside this i'm just going to take the ally and in this ally just use 
डॉलर आइटम एंड लेट्स सी वर्ड्स गोइंग ऑन उप्स डॉलर इन फोर इज दी टू यूज और राइट so you can see that we got the items here and we don't need to use the uh, typical php syntax here so it's looking good also all right so how we can use the if also if else so for that uh, we are going i'm going to put the if inside the for each all right so just i can use the at if dollar item equal equal to money all right then i have to use the and if okay and inside this i can simply use uh uh simply use dollar item or you can use something else if you want so you can see that money so let's say just print here mm or rich okay so my item is money so that's why i'm rich all right so this is also fine now how we can use the uh template with that so this is a uh, template is, is a very important part so i'm going to make a folder here uh, inside folder just take the folder layout dot uh blade dot bin blade dot php all right and here okay just uh, for the do it very quickly just i'm going to use the laravel official site so that we can get the code from here so laravel uh, blade all right just 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 do it quickly i remove it Mm. Okay so here is a blade template Okay so for now you can see that uh, we have a layout defined so just copy this All right and defined it here it's my layout and in the layout you can see that uh, I have three section one is the title so I will going to use this template for common for every page so let's say this is my site name you can write here step by step php okay and if you want to add something here i can add here this is my sidebar and this is my content if i am going to use all right so this is my uh, blade.php so i am going to remove all these things from here and now i am just importing this here so let's say for import i have to use extend uh extends in my file name and my file name is layout this is my folder name and dot uh, what i put here okay so just uh, just take it inside the folder it it's look good layout dot folder here layout all right and put it layout inside here it's moved here and you can put the name whatever you want so layout dot layout is not good so i'm going to use it app okay so let's layout dot app i'm extending it and let's see what's going on okay so this is a master page for now just you can ignore this one so why it's showing here and you can see that my title is step by step php and nothing else here so how i can put the title here so that i can use it properly so just you can use a dollar section and in this section uh, you can use the title and title is my Yeah, name. It's we call it directives. So you can use here like blade tutorial, and let's see. Okay, so I got a comment here. Okay, thanks guys. 
mm. now you can see that we got the title here property title okay so let's say if you have five more pages then you have to put the title single by single then you can use the extend the layout template and just put the title like here and it's rocking and it's also looking good uh, then now let's say I want to uh, what is that section sidebar then so how I can I can use this for this we can use the same thing okay uh, like this and in this I can it's a sidebar section so now let's see so you can see that we got the blade.php also here sidebar and you can easily apply the CSS also so I'm not going to put the CSS here so otherwise it, it the tutorial will going to be long all right so but you can see that in the in this section something also present here but when we use this and this is a uh, disappear so then how we can use this one with the new content also so how we can do that for that uh, you can use the syntax syntax uh, section with a new way so like this use the section and in the section uh, just use the sidebar all right and in the sidebar uh, just copy this and end this first of all okay and put here some new content like my blade tutorial sidebar and simply use here at the rate parent and let's see oops what's going on so now you can see that we have the uh, even old uh, the inherited we can see that it's a parent content as well as the new content here so parent content is here this is my master site all right and this is my new content so if you want to uh, change the position then you can also put it some uh, something like this and you can see that now master page is masters uh, pages below all right okay so everything is fine and everything else that is uh, remains here okay so you can use the content also so for content you can simply use like this see or empty empty content so like right right here something uh, i do not have more content all right <laughs> nice so we got here so with that way you can use the layout templating also in the blade template with the blade template in laravel so if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box and uh, if you have any kind of question query you can ask me here and also ask me on my facebook page also and uh, don't forget to subscribe give a thumbs up thanks guys thanks for watching it